guys, it's Delicracy here today and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a modern contemporary, well, modern and contemporary are the same thing, aren't they? Um, build and I'm excited because this is going to be for my Hampton Falls Let's Play, the Let's Play full of drama and tea that we have posting every Wednesday. So if you guys are looking for a new Let's Play and you haven't checked that out and you like a little bit of drama and crazy Sims, um, there's plenty of that in the Let's Play. So you guys can totally check it out. I'll link it in the description down below. But basically, this home is going to be the new home for the Lockwood family and the Mikitani family, if you guys are up to date with it. So those two families are, um, spoiler, they are moving in together and um, there's, it's, it's a little bit Brady Bunch, <laughs> the situation. Um, Mr. Mikitani has three kids and uh, Ms. Lockwood, who will now be Mrs. Um, Mikitani soon, Larissa, she has two kids. So um, there's going to be five kids. So we had to obviously have five bedrooms because this family is loaded and they are able to give all of their kids a bedroom each uh, plus the master suite. So that's six bedrooms. And then we needed a butler wing as well. So there's also the butler, which makes it seven bedrooms. Did I calculate that right? One, two, five kids, five, six, yeah. yeah. Okay. I know um, that little maths issue just then was a little bit sad. And the reason why I'm a bit slow today is I'm actually not feeling very well. Uh, if you guys watch my videos, like you never miss an upload, shout out to you guys. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I know that you guys always notice if I'm a little bit unwell. <laughs> you guys just know I'm a bit slow or I might say something that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, that's what's happening right now. I It's nothing to be worried about, nothing bad. I just have a bit of a head cold, I think. Um, it's winter in Australia right now. So you guys who are Australian watching, you know there's a lot of um, different colds and like viruses going around. And for those of you guys who are not from Australia, you may be in summer right now, <laughs> but us uh, Australians and New Zealanders are having winter. So a lot of people are a bit sick. So um, my boyfriend is actually in the other room sick as well. <laughs> He's got the same head cold where it's just basically dizzy, tired, um, hot and cold, all of that lovely stuff that you get to enjoy when you're sick. I'm obviously being sarcastic. It's awful. <laughs> so I do want to apologize if, um, I'm a little bit slow, slower than usual. Also, 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 okay, here we are. We've kind of finished the exterior of the house. And by the way, you might've noticed I kind of worked front to back with this home. Like I did the front, the facade first, or as we like to call it on this channel, the facade. Um, did the focade first, the front of the house, because I wanted it to be a nice looking, simple, modern home. And then I did the interior floor plan and then did the back of the house. Cause I feel like if you do the whole exterior and then you just have to make the floor plan work with the exterior, it sometimes is really hard to get a nice floor plan happening. So I kind of like to do half, half and then tie it up at the back. Um, I feel like that works best. And um, I also wanted a beautiful big pool at the back as well. I think this is going to look so pretty in springtime and summer when everything's really green. Uh, currently, it's autumn in the Let's Play, so it's not at its prettiest moment or most beautiful moment, but it still looks pretty cool. And um, I know a lot of you guys don't really like the white look of the house. Uh, a lot of you guys find white modern houses pretty boring. I personally don't mind them. I love a Californian white modern house, like those Hollywood um, century modern kind of homes. I think they're really cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't done one for a while. So I thought, you know what, let's just do it. And I feel like it's Larissa's character. Like it kind of suits her because their last home was like really kind of traditional Hamptons, like IRL Hamptons um, looking home. And I feel like she wanted to kind of reinvent herself and combine Tadashi's more kind of oriental modern look and feel of his home, but I guess soften it a little bit and make it a little bit more like straight, bold and cold modern for Larissa. I don't know. I feel like that just suits her. So this is what I've come up with. And uh, I actually really like the interior of this. A lot of it's very simple. So if you guys like the more simple look and feel of interiors of The Sims 4, you'll hopefully like this. And uh, the kitchen is all right. It's a little bit 
too plain for my liking. I wasn't 100% happy with it, but it's okay. I prefer other rooms a lot more. So if you don't like the kitchen, don't worry. It gets better in my opinion. <laughs> it's okay. It's a-okay. Um, also, 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 today is the first video. Well, the reason why I'm actually recording today, because I wasn't going to record, because usually when I'm not fully fit to record, I avoid it for you guys, because I feel like um, you, you deserve like really, really good 100% healthy video recordings, you know? I try not to record when I'm sick very often because I just don't think it sounds very good for you guys. But I was so excited to post this build because I've actually been working on and off it for several days. I did a whole other different build and I was like, you know what? I'm not happy with it. So I started again. So it feels like I've been working on this build for ages. Um, but the other thing is I got a new mic uh, today and I don't know if you guys can hear the difference if you watch the videos a lot, but if you can, let me know in the comments down below because I'm really excited to have a new mic. I've been wanting to update a lot of our setup. So and when I say our setup, I mean you guys and me because I feel like it's your setup too. Um, so yeah, it's been updated. I think it sounds better, but let me know what you think. And uh, if you're hearing a lot of like, sounds while I'm speaking, I am going to get a wind filter as well. It just hasn't arrived yet. And then hopefully it'll be crisp and smooth and shout out to my good friends, Critic Zeus and The Sim Supply for helping me set it up because audio stuff is actually really confusing if you've never done it before, <laughs> especially if you use an audio interface, which I've never used before. So shout out to them because they thanked me. Um, they thanked me. Oh my gosh. I need to thank them because they helped me. See guys, I told you I'm not hundred percent well today. Oh, good grief. Anyway, the kitchen is almost done. We have like a cute little cupcake tray. I feel like, um, dream houses in my head always have like cakes or cupcakes on the kitchen bench. Sometimes when I have a free Sunday, I do a big cook up and I make a whole heap of meals that I freeze in my freezer for the next couple of weeks if I don't have time to cook as much. And often I'll make some kind of healthier, like quote unquote healthier, um, like a slice or like a vegan slice I might make uh, with no refined sugars, or I might do like some cacao muffins with rapadura sugar or something like that. I try and go a little bit healthier and a little bit more low GI. <laughs> but when I do that, I put them on the kitchen bench because I'm like, oh, I want people to come over and be like, oh, would you like, would you like a muffin? <laughs> I just feel like I'm, I'm housewife goals, even though I'm not a housewife. I just, you know, I like it. I like it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the dining room. I wanted this to have a little bit more warmth in it. So I decided to use those beautiful timber chairs, which I absolutely love from Seasons. And we're using some earthy, beigey colors, accru colors as well throughout this build, just to warm it up a little bit because the exterior is so white and stark. It's a little bit much. So the interior is a little bit softer, a little bit earthier. I love that cityscape painting with the soft blues and greens in it. I think that's really nice. Um, and softening up the windows here with like some accrued colored blinds. I thought that was nice too. And I don't know. I like this dining room. I would maybe have a dining room similar to that. Would I? No, that's probably lying. I, knowing me, I love the look of dining rooms like that. And I wish I would one day have a dining room like that. But knowing me, there would have to be something extra in it. That's a bit like whoa, what is that? <laughs> so it'd be like a really sophisticated room. And then bam, there's like a monkey statue in the corner that people are like, WTF, what is that? And I'm like, I don't know. It's cute. It's totally me. Anyway. Um, so this is the lounge area. And at first I was like, let's put it on a nice angle. Let's make it a little bit different. But in the end, I got over that idea. I was feeling like I was just trying too hard and it kind of annoyed me that it was on an angle in a room that perfectly fit like a big rectangular rug. So <laughs> this is the entrance room. It is now like straight on the bifold, quote unquote, bifold doors because I wish we had bifold doors in The Sims 4, but obviously I just had to place a whole row of double doors. Um, they lead out to the pool. So it's like you were, you walk into the entrance and it's like, wow, big living area. And then you look across and it's the pool. So it's very open, very light, very bright. 
Uh, I still haven't removed my Pokemon custom content yet. That needs to be removed. <laughs> and um, yeah, just uh, figuring out if I could maybe put a bit of an accent chair in the corner. But in the end, I was like, no, nah, it doesn't look any good. So I got rid of it. And we are going to be coming back and changing those tables later on because I didn't like those in the end. This area is another living area. So the first, the entrance living area is kind of like a formal living. And then this area is more of like the TV room. So this has a forest green dark wall. And my theory behind having a darker wall in the lounge room, I don't know if this is a thing, you guys, but I feel like if you have darker colors around your TV, then whatever is on your TV will stand out more. So it'll be a nicer experience watching your TV. You know, if there's like darkness around it, the color comes out more. So if you have a white wall behind a TV, it's more stark to watch a TV. Does that make sense? I feel like that's a thing. I don't, I don't know though. I made it up. I don't know though. And um, I thought it was nice to kind of have that green and the yellow in the corner. Um, so that's kind of a nice little TV area. And uh, I do apologize. I have shortened this video a bit. Um, usually it'd probably run for 10 minutes longer than it will be just because I'm not feeling 100%. So I'm sorry, I'm kind of skipping through some of the rooms quickly, but hopefully you guys still enjoy the build. This room is going to be Emmy's room. And she is... Um, Tadashi's daughter. If you guys have no idea who I'm talking about, that's fine. But she's a character from Hampton Falls. She is a teenager. She's probably going to be a young adult soon. She's very feminine. She had a very like light and bright yellow room uh, in her last house. So I decided to go for something a little bit different this time, change it up. I mean, her family's bloated, so she's probably able to have a brand new room with brand new furniture now that she's moving, which is like, wow, dream. <laughs> so she's going with purple. I do wish some, like, I have to say, I love these season's beds. I think these beds are so nice, but I, wait, are they season's beds or cats and dogs? Oh my gosh. Having a moment. I'm pretty sure they're season's beds. Yeah. Um, I really dislike most of the swatches of them. They're really hard to work with some of them. So I'm not a huge fan of most of the swatches and it's kind of hard to make them match the rooms, but I feel like this one's quite easy to make it work because the whole Duna cup is white and it's just got some soft purples for the accent pillows. So it's like, okay, I can tie that in pretty easily. But some of the other beds are like yellow, green, blue, like really bright, rich colors. And it's like, well, now the bed has to be like the main part of the room, unless you want to make the whole room the same color. <laughs> it's a little bit hard. I love this uh, wallpaper as well. It's been a hot minutes since I've used that. I decided to use the hot pink and purple mirror and the purple computer just for a bit of fun to make it look a little bit more youthful. It's definitely not my style, but I feel like it's Emmy's style. So I like that. And I also thought that nice bright floral piece of artwork was pretty good too. So let's pop that in. Next up, I think we're going to be doing Colt's room, Larissa's son. And he is... How do you explain Colt? He's um he's a bit of a jock, I guess. He is sporty, athletic. He's kind of a bit perfect, um, too perfect on the outside for him to be perfect on the inside, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so his room, I needed him to have a bit of a, I don't know, modern, clean, um... I don't know. How do you explain it? It's just like a modern, it's almost a slightly boring room. It's kind of like for a teenager who doesn't have much of a personality, which I think he just is on the exterior, how his mom, how he feels his mom wants to be. So he is pretty controlled by her. So I feel like his room is just kind of what she chose and it doesn't really express him that much as a character. So I think it suits him. And I also wanted the rooms to have a little bit of a continuous theme throughout them. So I'm using that wallpaper again with the diamonds on it. Um, but I still think it's a nice room. And then this is his sister's room, uh, Bianca. She has beautiful soft blues. This is probably my favorite bedroom. 
I love this bedroom actually. <laughs> Lots of soft blues in it and creamy colors. It's just very light and fresh and pretty. So I like it a lot. And Bianca got a room downstairs and her brother got an upstairs room with access to a balcony and a jacuzzi. And that is because Larissa wanted to spoil his good behavior because she wanted him to break up with his girlfriend who was her fiance's daughter um, because she felt like it would look bad if her son was with her fiance's daughter. Like that would just look weird. So she's like, you have to dump her. And so she's like, thank you for doing that. You get the biggest room. Cause that's just the kind of manipulative sim that she is. And it's just messed up that way. So, um, he got rewarded with a nicer room than his sister, which probably makes her feel pretty bad. There's a bit of competition amongst the siblings. And this is Akira's room. Akira is awesome. He is a, um, well, he is the son of Tadashi. He is bi and he loves fashion, color. His last room was crazy. It was like a fluoro green. He's currently dating Noah. And he like, he has his own sense of fashion that's kind of interesting. It's kind of edgy and it's kind of, Um, glam at the same time, like masculine glam. He wears a bit of eyeliner and stuff. So I put this like we've passed it now, but you guys might've seen from Romantic Garden Stuff Pack, a masculine figure sculpture, sculpture. And he just has that in his room. And I just wanted him to have something eccentric in it that was kind of like, whoa, what is that? And he's artsy. So I thought that was kind of cool. And this is the youngest girl's room. She's just aged up to a teenager. I always forget her name. <laughs> like always, I never can remember her name. Yeah, I think it starts with M. Oh no. I'm thinking Mia, but it's not Mia. Anyway, you guys, I know you guys will remember because you guys have a way better memory than me, which is kind of sad seeing as though it's my let's play and I created the characters and you guys are so much better at remembering their names. Anyway, she um had the pink bedroom downstairs and she's a younger teen. So she, um, I guess she's going to have a younger looking room and a single bed. And as she gets older, she might get a double bed. But I just thought that kind of showed the age a little bit better. And then this is the master suite, which I really, this is totally not my taste. Like I would not want to sleep in this master bedroom, but I feel like it suits Tadashi and Larissa because um, it's like a very earthy, very neat, very controlled, kind of, it's warm colors, but the room design is kind of cold and I feel like that suits their characters. So that's that's their room. I know some of you guys might really like it, but we're using the foresty green again, some grays on the walls mixed with some browns. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty much what it is. And I mean, it looks like a calm bedroom and I like uh, the artwork with the splash of red in it. I think that's important that the room has a little bit of color. Otherwise it would be like brown, brown, green, green, brown, gray. <laughs> so yeah, this is their room. They have like a double wardrobe and all of the rooms, all of the bedrooms actually, they have en suites that I did off camera. They all pretty much look the same. Um, But yeah, there's en suites in every room and this is the finished house. So let me know you guys what you think of it. Um, (laughs) Bianca's walking into the house looking a bit sad there. This is the entrance formal lounge room. Uh, Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you like it? There's also a mat there for the dog and uh, there's a dining room. I mean, I like the dining room. I think it's, it's nice. It's calming. The kitchen, very simple nice and modern. I'm look. I'm really looking forward to getting some new counters hopefully soon. I really, really want them. <laughs> this is the TV room area, zebra carpet, you know, I clustered a few lights together. I think they were from seasons. Um, I just thought that looked kind of cool. There's Bianca's room. There's a touch of Japanese influence in most of the rooms with the banners from, I think Civ- city living. There's the youngest girl's room. And then heading upstairs, we have the last three bedrooms. So four bedrooms, actually. So there's the master bedroom, um, double-sized windows or two-story windows, which is kind of cool. Season lamps, city living bedside tables. Uh, This is the master bedroom bathroom. Just lots of blacks and whites. This is Akira's bedroom. 
Also, the bathrooms have glass doors. Get scared. <laughs> I know if I would like that. And uh, then this is Colt's bedroom. So they're all very simple, very modern. And of course, there is Emmy's room uh, with the purple theme. Her room is probably the one with the most personality, <laughs> if I'm being honest. And one of the bathrooms to kind of show you the repeating color theme in all of the bathrooms and the outside. As I said, let me know what you think of this video and this build. If you want to rebuild it, there is a floor plan. And let me know what you think of the new mic, you guys. Anyway, as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you soon. So, so.